Good afternoon everyone. Today is Monday, the 22nd of May, 2023. And the time now is half past five in the afternoon. Today I'm taking you around Regent Park. And then from there we're heading east. As we head east, we'll be passing King's Cross, Old Street, Spitterfield, and Whitechapel. This area is called Olympia. Olympia in Kensington. Ahead of us is the shopping centre called Westfield in White City. Nothing special about it, it's just a very large shopping centre. Just as many people hate it as, they lo as many people lo love it. I read all your messages and one of your messages is that um, you would like to see more A road and um, for that reason uh, we're going on the A40, a main front road heading east into London. And also one of our viewers uh, wanted to see Lord's Cricket Gown cricket ground that's in Regent Park and so we'll be um, near Regent Park and so we'll be passing by the Lord's cricket ground so yes if you like to see anything let me know I'll try and uh, include it in future videos so thanks for the suggestion guys appreciate it So this is the um, A40, main trunk road leading into London, central London, sorry. Crazy, it's a main trunk road but the speed limit here is 30 miles an hour. It used to be that the speed limit around residential hours, residential areas is 30 miles an hour, but now everything's gone crazy. some point here this main road will overpass the Portobello Road, the popular market in, in Kensington, Portobello Road. I'm not sure I can point out to you, probably there. 
One of the roads there. Uh, hold on. I think it's here. Or near here. Ah, uh, yes. I think we are just about, yes, passing for the Banner Road now. There you go, guys. The first motorcycle video uh, log to pass over Porta Bella Road. Not. If you want to see more Porta Bella Road, I have a walking video exploring at the market on a uh, Sunday it's a very popular market for antiques and anything else you always have a nice time when you go to Porto Bella Road Lovely sunny day today, about 20 degrees Celsius. It's a changing mood in, a, in the city. Everyone seems to be more relaxed. Finally, summer is here. unusual sight for London. Normally you see very tight roads, twists and turns, narrow lanes, but here it's a uh, freeway. Well, it's like a freeway through the city. Roads look very narrow. Filtering might be a bit difficult here. I mean, look at that. How can you pass this lorry? Let's do this quickly before it gets in front of me again. Too hot to be stuck in traffic. It's removing. Oh, so close. So, on the right is the city, really. I mean, the West End, down on the right. And we're not too far now from Regent's Park.
Oh yeah, it is. <laughs> How are you doing? Oh, yeah, just filming uh, the route. Are yes. You Sorry? Oh uh, no, no. Oh, right. Have a good day. Nice friendly taxi driver. He thought I was doing the knowledge, which is basically uh, a requirement to drive a taxi here in, in London, a black cab. You need to know pretty much every part of the uh, London road and they will test you on it and that's what's called the, the knowledge. Behold, this is uh, Lord's Cricket Grounds, guys. See the last structure there of the stadium. We won't be able to drive right into it, but let's drive ar around it. So this part is uh, probably the main entrance. Go for it now. Yes, this is uh, definitely the Lord's Cricket Grounds. That is the main entrance. The Lord's Cricket Grounds. So this is um, a very famous um, stadium where the Australians uh, play against England. And we have built this special stadium here just to see the spectacle of uh, England losing to Australia every single time. Well, I'm not sure about that, but uh, pretty much. One of it feels like to be an Englishman, having to experience that at the Tom Stadium. Sorry to you cricket fans out there, I don't mean to be rude. But it's a beautiful place and uh, cricket is a lovely game okay let's go to Regent's Park somewhere is Regent's Park. Let's find a way in. turn no right turn so we have to go this way to get back there Oh. So this is Regent's Park guys. 
the park with a ring road all the way around it. Poplar with cyclists here as they can go all the way around the park non-stop, continuously. There's a zoo. This is a London Zoo. I never liked animals being locked up myself, but uh, there it is, and here it goes. That's a zoo. There's also a university in here and a mosque. The mosque itself was a um, was built as a um, a gift to the Middle Eastern uh, soldiers who helped during the Second World War. So it's built soon after the war. I believe on the right there um, is uh, Regent's University. 20 miles an hour here, so we're getting overtaken by cyclists. It's great, isn't it? Regent University there. The campus. There's the mosque. Of course, it's uh, free and uh, wel everyone is welcome into the mosque. And they're really nice places to be, even though you're not religious or Muslim. Everyone's welcome. Peaceful place. Riding on the uh, outer circle of the uh, park, Regent's Park, but there is also a much smaller inner circle, and there you find uh, more like gardens with flowers and um, very well um, looked after plants, exotic plants.
won't get a speeding ticket if you stay, stay behind a cyclist with you even though you're doing almost 30 miles per hour oh look at those beautiful uh, trees Great Portland Street Station. No, it's the BT Tower. Communication Tower. Back on the A40. Now heading to King's Cross. When people talk about King's Cross, they often think the red light district. Although I've never seen anything like it there. But then I don't go there at night, so anyway. So King's Cross, in the, in the times when um, England was still reliant on coal, it was a major uh, coal processing plant for um, coal coming from the north to London and it, come by, it came by train and it was a process there and, and uh, distributed around London so that was the importance of King's Cross not the red light district That's uh, Euston Station, next to King Cross Station. Euston is a... Uh, they're pretty much the same station to me, I'm not quite sure why exactly. So King Cross, you can get the Eurostar there into Europe. Eurostar is the high speed train. Going to Europe, Paris, etc. I think it goes more than Paris. Uh, that large brick building there, imposing uh, Dracula-like building there, is a hotel. It used to be um, it was built about 150 years ago, I believe. Left derelict for a while, and then previous decades it was rebuilt. Uh, sorry, refurbished back into a hotel.
car behind us trying to get through. So this is the St. Pancras uh, Renaissance uh, Hotel. Incredible. And this is King Cross Station. Incredibly busy area all the time. It's never quiet here. Now we're heading to Old Street in East London.
know the roundabout round there is called Old Street and there's also a station there in 2019 they decided they want to rebuild the station and it was a project that was supposed to last for one year also um, the reason why they want to rebuild it is because it was notorious for accident zone many people died around that roundabout it was just so weird people were just killing themselves there so um, they had a one year plan to rebuild the uh, roundabout well guess what in 2023 they still haven't finished the pandemic uh, ended two years ago but they still blame it on the pandemic so the new uh, deadline is uh, 2024 this is typical of UK construction public money wasted because uh, yeah it gets privatized doesn't it this uh, work never gets done because uh, it seems to uh, be more profitable that way for some reason This area here is uh, in um, Old Street, but uh, as we go down there, there will be uh, Spitterfield. This area is very close to the city, financial area, and there's lots of tech businesses and artistic studios, all kinds of business around here actually. But uh, this area is very geared very much towards the younger people with, uh, with money to spend. And you see, everything is uh, cool looking. Also one of the biggest uh, drugs area of London plenty of uh, money to spend on cocaine after working late nights in the city it's also one of the uh, coolest areas to hang out in the evening and during the weekends it's actually quite a nice area always loads of things to do and see around here On the left inside there is the Brick Lane Market and you will be able to see more of that on one of my videos on Brick Lane. This area is called Spitterfield, known for the market on the right inside the building. It's an indoor market, mainly food but many other things too. This is where you have money and you're young, you will want to shop here 
how many or the fashionable shop they have here. Now we're in Whitechapel. All well, these areas, uh, Old Street, Spitalfield, Whitechapel, they're pretty much the same area. There's some really nice places to eat around here. Definitely one of the best places to visit if you're in London. If you like photography, street art, vintage clothing, food, nightclubs, this is the kind of area you want to go to. So once again, well, thanks very much for watching. I enjoyed making this video for you. Please click like and subscribe for future videos. And see you soon.